What's up guys, it's your boy Jalen here on another episode of Elevated Minds. Today's episode is going to be called, When a Man Should Be in His Feminine. Alright, so we've already went over the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, what we need to work on as males and females to be the best that we can when it comes to being in our Divine Masculine and Feminine energies. Now, you also may have heard me talk about in that video how we both men and women have masculine and feminine energies inside of us so for example i am a masculine man but i have feminine energies as well a feminine woman has some masculine energies in her as well it's just balancing them uh, sometimes there's more dominant energies than others um, but today we're talking about for the divine masculine man and the divine feminine woman the episode is going to be talking about when the masculine man needs to be in his feminine energy because guys <laughs> that macho macho man or whatever that that figure that you see on tv or that people portray men to be or what they're supposed to be as this ego driven overly compensating you know egotistical maniac of a guy um that just has to always be right and you know always think he knows everything that's not a masculine man so what we're talking about in this episode is when a man needs to be in his feminine because there is more times than than less uh that a guy needs to be in his feminine energy so that's what we're going to be talking about in this episode if this is your first time on my channel go ahead hit that like button subscribe follow me on all my social medias all this stuff's going to be in the link below um and if you haven't seen the divine masculine and divine feminine episodes I'm going to have those links up there as well um, in the description so go ahead and check those videos out if you haven't um, seen them already and let's go on and dive into this episode so when a man should be in his feminine we're going to just go down the list of things so when you're trying to be creative this could be whether you are a writer a singer a rapper uh, if you're a content creator if you uh, you know whatever you whatever you're doing that takes you know creativity you're diving into your feminine energy my guy <laughs> so a lot of times people just think you know you're always in your masculine when you want to create things you want to have some cool ideas stuff like that you're tapping into your feminine energy so like i said before you might be a man you might might be in your divine masculine energy but we also have feminine energy and you have to know how and when to tap into it. Some guys, the problem is they're too tapped into the divine feminine energy. And that's when, you know, the opposing sex will be very turned off because you're too much in your feminine energy. So, but we're talking about the times now when you should. And one is when you're in your creative energy because creative energy is, is feminine energy. Uh, so, if you guys want to get better with your music, with your writing, with your just your creativity in general, learn how to tap into that feminine energy. It's okay. <laughs> it doesn't make you any less of a man, guys. It actually makes you more of a man where you can know how to use your feminine energy to your advantage. Just don't, <laughs> if you're a divine masculine man, you just don't want that, that feminine energy to be at the forefront. Next thing, we got empathy. If you want like I said before, a divine masculine man has to be able to lead. If a man can't lead, then, you know, he's not going to be a great man. <laughs> so when it comes to being a great leader, you have to have empathy. You have to be able to see what the other people or your woman, whatever. You need to be able to feel what other people are feeling, you know, see things through their eyes, uh, know what it means to walk in their shoes because you can't lead if you don't know what the people need, you know, or what people are going through as well. You need to actually be in your feminine when you're showing empathy. You know, we're very goal driven. We're very, you know, focused and things like that as a divine masculine man. But to have empathy, it's that perfect mesh. It's that just combining that masculine energy and that feminine energy when you need it. Empathy is a very powerful tool. A lot of people might think of it as weakness, but it's super powerful. Um, 
to all you empaths out there there's another video for empaths if you guys haven't seen that yet check that video out, out as well uh, i think it'll be uh, really beneficial to you uh, anyways so creativity and showing empathy these are two times a man needs to be in his feminine energy because if you're too far in your masculine you just don't have that balance this is how you get these e egotistical guys that just think that they know everything and everything's their way and they only see things in their their line of vision <laughs> so uh the, those are the two right there next thing we have expressing your emotions now this one is very misunderstood because a lot of times there are men that were raised by women and they you know women are emotional that's just a fact but when you know men are raised by women only and don't have a, a masculine uh that figure in their lives they tend to dive more to their feminine energy and so these types of men are going to be way more you know dealing with outbursts outbursts of anger you know they they let their stuff out too much and too willingly um, without any restraint no 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 masculine energy to restrain it so we need to understand i don't want anyone to misunderstand this expressing your emotions is not uh something that you should look over uh, as a divine masculine man you have to be able to express how you feel and that's diving into your feminine energy and it, but it's also doing it in a way where it's not your you know a lot of men don't want to feel like they're, like they're losing their masculinity but there's nothing there's nothing feminine about expressing your emotions but being in that space of expressing your emotions is tapping into that feminine energy so you know you need to be able to do it in a healthy way don't just be out here screaming and this people be out here shooting people those are those are people men that are in their their feminine energy just emotional they don't know how to control themselves they're just very just all over the place those are the men that really need to learn about the masculine energy and the masculine men that want to learn about how to be a more masculine man you need to learn how to express your emotions toxic masculinity is this culture where they think that men aren't allowed to express themselves and men should be able to have a safe space to express themselves in the best way healthiest way possible and you know not be shunned for it there's nothing wrong with it and this is when a man needs to be in his feminine when he's expressing his emotions there's nothing wrong with that guys you need to let it out if you're not letting it out you know that's that's just how outbursts happen this is how depression and all that kind of stuff happens you're bottling it up that's not a masculine thing to do they they, they got you think oh yeah man this never cries and never lets out you know any of his emotions and no one needs to know you just be stoic I'm like look it, it's cool to be a stoic man that's that's what that you know it's cool but we all have to let it out sometimes and you know you might need not let it out in front of everyone you might not let it out in front of your woman but you know have a group of guys or a friend or whatever that you can let that stuff out whoever makes you feel comfortable you know that's going to be one of the biggest things when you're a masculine man tapping into that feminine energy you got to know how to express your emotions next thing when you're listening now <laughs> This one's interesting because to listen, you have to be in a receptive state receptive because that's what feminine, you know, divine feminine energy is receiving. And so that's another time that a man needs to be in his his feminine is when he's listening, because when you're listening, you have to, you know, we're not just goal driven and focus on everything else and trying to get all these things done. You have to focus in on this other person who's saying something to you and you have to receive you're you're taking in the words you're taking in the vibrations of the sounds of what they're saying is going into you and so you're being open to receive that is a time where you actually have to be in your feminine energy and so i'm telling you guys we both have, we both have masculine and feminine energies men and women both and when you're in your divine uh, masculine, you're able to perfectly balance it. You need to know when you need to go into that feminine energy. A lot of guys are blocked in life because they don't know how to tap into it. They just push it away. Like, no, that's, that's you know, I'm, I'm just a man. And that's it, that's whatever, that's it. But you need to know what comes with being a, a man is these different things. You need to be able to be creative. You need to know how to show empathy. You need to know how to express your emotions. All these things are super important when you're a divine masculine man. So learn how to get into that feminine energy. So listening is one of those as well. Next, 
giving and receiving love. That's when you need to be in your feminine energy because that's nurturing, that's love, it's care. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not, that's not uh, a non-masculine thing to do. Being able to be masculine is knowing how to tap into that feminine energy when needed. So you need to learn how to show compassion for other people, to care for other people, for your woman, for your family, for your close friends, whoever, you know what I'm saying? You need to be able to do that. And in order to do that, you need to be able to get into that feminine energy. I'm gonna say it a lot of times, guys, because <laughs> it's, it's super important. We need to be able to do that really whenever we whenever it's time there's a time and place for everything and you know some like i said some guys are just in it too long they're in that feminine energy stage for a long period of time until they just get stuck there and then they're just in balance like and, and, and this is nothing against uh feminine men because there are feminine men that are just more tapped into their feminine and there are natural masculine women that are just more tapped into that and if that's you guys that's cool you know do what you do I'm, I'm just specifically talking to the men in their divine masculine and women in their divine feminine this is what this uh, episode is for just like with the other two episodes so don't want to step on any toes just letting y'all know this is the premise of this episode so the next thing is going to be intuition this is why women are so much more intuitive than us men because they're tapped into their emotions they're tapped into their feelings that feminine energy we have feminine energy too guys and we need to be able to tap into it when we need it we just we can't block that stuff off this is how negative you know uh, these types of things when you block it off it comes out in negative ways you know what i'm saying that's why i was talking about with the outbursts and stuff like that you got guys that shut down don't know how to speak when they you know they're shutting down your your emotions you're tapped off from your heart and that that feminine energy you need to be able to use it when needed so when uh, you want to be a more intuitive person because as a, a divine masculine uh, man you need to be able to be intuitive you need to have discernment things like that women this is why they pick up on things that we don't always pick up on but we can learn to be more intuitive by being in our feminine when we need to so learn how to be more intuitive it's here it's it's all your emotions your feelings and stuff like that being in tune with that in tune with your body in tune, in tune with your spirit when you are in tune with all these things then that's when your intuition just comes out more naturally but you have to embrace that feminine energy it's in there <laughs> it's in there you just gotta tap into it guys it's, it's super important and ladies i'm gonna get on to y'all next don't even worry about it i'm gonna talk about when women need to be in your masculine that's going to come up on the next episode anyways the divine masculine man is not always in this masculine energy a, a divine masculine man can be strong and sensitive he can be intuitive and powerful he can give and receive love without issues this is the, this is what an actual divine masculine man looks like he can be physically strong he can be all these you know all these things but this six six guy who's super strong and huge and buff and you know thinks he's right this this mental note of how we think that an actual man is it's not true uh, there could be a guy that's six seven and you know just as big as he wants to be but he's ego driven doesn't know how to communicate doesn't know how to feel his emotions doesn't know how to care for people that's not a man that's not a man. He, a, 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 the physical that has nothing to do with what a man is. A man can be as small as Kevin Hart and be more of a man than a dude that's the size of the rock. You know what I'm saying? So it, these these types of qualities, you know, being able to balance these things, you know, when I like we talked about in the other episode of the, with the divine masculine, uh, knowing how to be a leader, how to be decisive. These 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 masculine traits make you a man but also being able to tap into these feminine traits inside of you are also gonna, what is gonna make you a man, which is funny, it sounds crazy, but that's actually how it works. The, the true, you know, the actually evolved man who's spiritually in tune, he's, he's uh, united with his body, spirit, mind, you know what I'm saying? All that is super important when it comes to being a divine masculine man. And so these are the different things we need to do uh, to be in your feminine, guys. There is a time and a place for everything. And these are times where we need to learn how to be in your feminine. When you need to be creative, 
when you're showing empathy, expressing your emotions, when listening, when receiving and giving love, when caring you know, for people, and when having intuition. You have to be in your feminine energy for all these things. And these things are gonna make you a better man. So I hope I provided y'all some value on this episode. Like I said, the next one is gonna be when a woman needs to be in her masculine. So y'all look out for that drop next. And uh, you know, let's just become our best selves out here, guys. We, there's no need to be ego driven. There's no need to think you have to be this macho, macho guy that just doesn't know how to express himself, doesn't know how to be in tune with his emotions. Uh, that is not what a real man is. So we are trying to create a better world for everyone. And this, by doing this, we're gonna create better men in this world. This is what this episode is about, showing men that you know, it's okay to be in your feminine sometimes when you're trying to do these things, when you're trying to be, you know, creative, when you're expressing yourself, when you're showing love, giving love, receiving, all these things are super important to being a better leader, to being a better man. And I believe if we can adopt these principles and learn about this and spread this amongst everyone, I feel like we can have a way better, a uh, really way better world, a peaceful world full of love, and full of men that know how to actually be men, not <laughs> men that think they know what it is to be men, you know, that are ego driven and causing havoc to everyone that comes in their path. We want men and women that are gonna be accountable and show love and, and just really be connected, connected with nature, connected with your body, mind, soul, with source, with God. This is all what this is about. So. Like I said, I hope y'all learned something on this episode. Uh, if you had any comments, put them down below. Don't forget to like the video and you know share this with anybody that you think that would benefit from this video. And uh, we got some more content coming your way. If you guys have any other video ideas that you'd like me to do, put those down below in the comments also. And I'd love to do a video episode um, that you guys have. So, all right guys, y'all be good. Stay safe, stay elevated.